Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered bra, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be the continuing of Genesis 49. And we left off yesterday at uh, Deuteronomy 49 and 19. So uh, let's start at verse 20. This would be. Verse 20, and we're going to break all the way down to the end of this lesson. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Genesis 49 and verse 20, it says, Out of Asher, and actually, let me start at verse 19 again, because I got a precept for that. Um, Deuteronomy 49 and 19. So let, I'll start at verse 19 again. Genesis 49 and 19, it says, Gad, a troop shall overcome him. But he shall overcome at the last. All right, and we went into that. Gad is the so-called Native American Indians. This is Deuteronomy 33. And I forgot to go to Deuteronomy 33 for a couple of other tribes. So I'll probably read those as well. This is Deuteronomy 33. And um, I'll start at verse, let me see, verse 20. This is uh, Deuteronomy 33 and 20. It says, And of Gad, he said, Blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. He dwelleth as a lion and teareth the arm with the crown of his head. All right? And again, Gad, the tribe of Gad is the so-called Native American Indians. All right? That's the tribe of Gad. All right? Gad is the so-called Native American Indians, uh, according to the scriptures, man. All right? So going back to Genesis 49, I just wanted to add that in there. Genesis 49 and uh, verse 20. Genesis 49 and 20, it says, Out of Asher his bread shall be fat, and he shall yield royal dainties. And Asher is the Colombians, so-called Colombians, and the Yurgarinians. Alright, that's the tribe of Asher. Right, and continuing, it says, verse twenty-one: Naphtali is a hen, a hind let loose. He giveth godly words, and Naphtali is um, the Argentinians, uh, also the uh, Chile, Argentinians to Chile is uh, Naphtali. Verse twenty two and it says Joseph is a fruitful bow a fruitful bow, even a fruitful bow by a well whose branches run over the wall. The archers have sorely grieved him, and it says, and shot at him and hated him, but his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty power of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd and the stone of Israel. Alright, and Joseph is the tribe of Ephraim. And um, notice on here, Manasseh is not mentioned in Genesis 49. So we're going to go to Genesis uh, 48. And we're going to read how does um, Ephraim and Manasseh comes in. Because Ephraim and Manasseh, they were Joseph's sons. All right. Ephraim and Manasseh was Joseph's sons. And uh, we're pretty much make, what made them make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel was that Jacob, uh, Jacob, the father of Joseph, he took Joseph's sons and claimed them as his own. So that's what makes up the 12 tribes of Israel, Ephraim and Manasseh. And the tribe of Joseph is the tribe of Ephraim, which are the so-called Puerto Ricans today. That's the tribe of Joseph. And Manasseh is, is the so-called Cubans today. That's the tribe of Manasseh. But we're going to go into that really quick to back up what I'm saying. Genesis 48 and 1 and it came to pass after these things that one told Joseph behold thy father is sick and he took with him his two sons Manasseh and Ephraim Joseph did 
Joseph had two sons. He had Ephraim and he had Manasseh, Manasseh and Ephraim. Those were his two sons. And one told Jacob, Jacob, one told Jacob and said, Behold, thy son Joseph cometh unto thee, and Israel strengthened himself and sat upon the bed. And Jacob said unto Joseph, Yahweh Almighty appeared unto me at the loose in the land of Canaan and blessed me. And said unto me, Behold, I will make thee fruitful, and multiply thee, and will make of thee a multitude of people, and will give this land to thy seed after thee for an everlasting possession. Verse 5, And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, which were the sons of Joseph, Joseph's sons. Alright, so Jacob said unto Joseph's sons, I said unto Joseph that he's going to take his sons and claim them as his own. It says, And now thy two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, which were born unto thee in the land of Egypt, I came unto thee into Egypt, are mine. So he took, he told Joseph that Ephraim and Manasseh is going to claim them as their own. He took, he claimed Joseph's sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, as his own sons. So they make up the twelve tribes of Israel. It says, And I came unto, I came unto thee into Egypt, are mine. As Reuben and Shimeon, they shall be mine. So Joseph's sons, he took Joseph's sons and claimed them as his own. So you got Ephraim and Manasseh. Because when you read Genesis 49, Manasseh is not mentioned in there. But but Manasseh is a part of the 12 tribes of Israel. Ephraim and Manasseh is the 12 tribes, of, make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Alright. Again, Ephraim is the so-called Puerto Ricans. The tribe of Joseph is the so-called Puerto Ricans, which is the tribe of Ephraim. And the tribe of Manasseh are the Cubans today. All right. That's the tribe of Manasseh. Verse 24, verse 25, it says, Even by the power of thy father, who shall help thee? And by the Almighty, who shall bless thee with the blessings of heaven above the blessings of the deep that lieth under the blessings of the breast and of the womb? The blessing of thy father hath prevailed above the blessing of my progenitors. Unto the utmost bond of the everlasting hills, they shall be on the head of Joseph and on the crown of the head of him that was separated from his brethren, right? Because he, remember, his brother sold him into slavery as an example. I'm just giving that out. He was separated from his brethren because he, he was sold into slavery. But that was his uh, lot anyway. The Lord set it up that way. Verse 27, Benjamin, sh Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. And the tribe of Benjamin is the so-called um, Jamaicans today. That's the tribe of Benjamin. It says, Benjamin shall raven as a wolf in the morning. He shall devour the prey. And at night, it says, he shall divide the spoil. Verse 28. All It says, all these are the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. So there you go. The twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. Right? And it says, and this, and this is it that their father spake unto them and blessed them. Every one according to his blessing be blessed. It says, it's like a, every one according to his blessing, he blessed them. Verse 29, and he charged them and said unto them, I am to be gathered unto my people. Bury me with my fathers in a cave that is in the field of Ephron the Hittite. So this was Jacob from verse 28, 28 all the way down to 33 is going into um, Jacob's last hours. Uh, living because he wind up dying and he was telling them on his deathbed where he wanted to be placed where he wanted to be buried at so that's what that's going into verse 30 it says in the cave this is in the field of Machpelah which is before Memre Memre it says in the land of Canaan which Abraham brought bought with the field of Ephron the Hittite for a possession of a burying place it says, There they buried Abraham and Sarah his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah his wife. And there I buried Leah. Verse 32. It says, The purchase of the field and of the cave that is in therein was from the children of Heth. Verse 33. And when Jacob had made an end of commanding his uh, sons, he gathered up his feet onto the bed of the yielding. And it says, it says, he gathered up his feet unto the bed and yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. So Jacob winded up p passing. He died. Jacob died. He winded up giving up the ghost. He went back to the Lord. All right. He winded up dying. So that's pretty much Genesis 49. You know, just wrapping it up. And 
that's who the 12 tribes are today, according to the Bible. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakudash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. The Bolanus to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the lake. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, bringing forth this word of truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada Camp. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, shalom.